Hi, Master Gardeners. I'm out in my garden. I wanted you to see my snapdragons because they're kind of finishing my first flush of flowers. And I wanted to share with you how fabulously engineered this individual flower is. It's perfectly designed for bumblebees. So let's take a look at them. But I sowed these in the fall months. This is typically an annual that grows in the area of around France and Spain in the Pyrenees mountains there. We grow them often as an annual and we can grow them as a hardy annual. They love cool weather. As you can see, this is a tall rocket cultivar that can go to about 18 inches. You can buy dwarf, intermediate, or tall cultivars of them. They like a moist, fertile soil. They like full sun or partial shade. That's what I like about them is they're tolerant of shade. And as you can see here, they come in all colors. Did you know that typically red colors don't draw many insects because they can't see that color? And there's actually some proven scientific facts that bees love blue and yellows. So the snapdragon is a perfect plant for them to do research on just for that purpose because they come in such a wide variety of colors. But let's get into the fascinating aspects of the snap because this is a tubular flower that has lips. Two kind of pursed lips on them, which is not too hard to see. I'm sure you've played with them as a kid, how they snap open, but they have some fabulous designs. You have to be a heavy duty bee to land on this and open the mouth. The plant is protected from smaller insects trying to pollinate it or trying to get its nectar because it won't pollinate it. I'm having a hard time opening. So here's his mouth opened up. When a heavy duty bee lands on there, preferably a bumblebee, he can enter inside. There's actually UV landing pad colors on the mouth of it. And it's perfectly designed so that his wide little claws on the large bumblebee bee can grip these little landing pads. Whereas if a bee tries to come up the center of it, it's slippery and he can't get into it. So that's one cool aspect about it. The second is that there's a scent that's four times stronger in the Snapdragon during the daytime hours when bees are actually flying, as opposed to the evening hours. And that's a pretty cool fact. And the scent is positioned along the inside of the lip in just the way that when the bee is inside of it, it gets the scent on him. So when he returns back to his hive, he carries the scent with him back to the whole group. So it's a fascinating little flower, perfectly designed for the big bumblebee. So I just wanted to share with you my snapdragons and I hope I'm gonna share them with you again next year because I'm gonna sow them again in the fall months and overwinter them and so you'll see them again. All right, have fun on this summer day.